Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 1072 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I am so excited to try out this Dose of Colors Happy Hour Lip Gloss. The shade is called Happy Hour. I think it's the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss from Dose of Colors. And this is a product I got in my December 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box. <laughs> and I'm really excited about this color. This looks so beautiful. This is an example where I feel like Ipsy sent me a color that I really like. <laughs> Whereas BoxyCharm sent me a Periwinkle Blue lipstick, which is beautiful, but just so not me. This right here, I feel like is so me. It's got a little bit of sparkle to it, it looks like. And I really like the brand Dose of Colors. I'm obsessed with the Dose of Colors concealer. If you wanna see my review video on the concealer I'm talking about, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. This has a retail value of $17, and it actually comes in a ton of different shades. It's vegan, cruelty-free. So let's check it out. Well, I like this type of applicator. It's more of like a rounded paddle-like applicator. Oh my gosh. And it smells so delicious. This smells exactly like sugar cookies. So sweet and yummy. But so here is what that applicator looks like. And let's start out with a swatch. Ooh, that looks pigmented. I am so into these pigmented glosses because it's like you're getting your lipstick and your lip gloss in one. And I just feel like they're so flattering, especially for me with my dry lips. It does say that they recommend exfoliating your lips before applying this. So I tried to make my lips not as chapped and dry as they normally would be. So. Let's see how this works on my lips. Hopefully, I've exfoliated enough. So what I have on right now is one not super thin layer because it's kind of got more of a thicker consistency, but it does still have some sheerness to it, and it is really pretty. Seeing it on my lips now, it actually kind of works as like a nude lip color. I didn't really expect it to be kind of like a nude shade on me. Just from how it looks here, I thought it'd be a little bit more like pinky peachy, but I really like how kind of neutral it is. I wanna go ahead and layer up some more just to try and build up the color a bit. that actually is pretty buildable. It looks pretty opaque now. Maybe not 100% completely opaque, but definitely good pigment to it. The only thing is, and this happens sometimes with lip glosses, there's separation on like the inside of my lip. It's just kind of not sticking to more like the inside of my lip. So I feel like you can see that line, which I don't love. And it looked kind of like it had some glitter when I looked up close, but on my lips, I don't see any glitter. It just looks shiny. It's got good sheen. And it's really pretty, especially from a distance. I feel like it's super pretty. It's got that high shine. It's a flattering shade. But just up close, I don't love the texture because it's not looking completely smooth and even, and it's not even because of any chapped dry patches on my lips that it's clinging to. It's more just kind of like slipping off of my lips, like it's gathering down at the bottom of my lips and just kind of like sliding off from the center and from like the inside of my lip. I've definitely seen this happen with other lip glosses before. And to me, I just feel like this isn't an amazing formula when it does this. I feel like this could work as a lip topper, maybe on top of 
a different lip color. I've tried out so many awesome lip glosses, lip glosses that are a lot, a lot cheaper than this, that have a smooth, even texture that sit on the lips better. So this is pretty. I really like the color. I like the sheen. It's not something that I would never wear that I hate, but I just don't think it's worth the $17 and I definitely don't think it's the best lip gloss I've ever tried. But I'm really curious your thoughts on this. If you've tried it, I'm going to go onto the Ulta website and look at the reviews that it has. Wow. Pretty high reviews, not quite five star, but not quite four. So it's got like four and a quarter stars, which I think is pretty high for Ulta. Yeah, just the longer I have it on my lips, the more I feel like it's not on my lips. And I applied a lot. And it, at this point, like it's seriously only on half of my lip. Like it's not even on like the inner portion of my lip anymore. And that doesn't happen to me like ever with any other lip products. It's not like a common thing for my lip products to rub off on the inside of my lip. Like that never happens to me. So I just know that it's the formula that's just kind of sliding away. Very strange, but oh well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.